My name is Chris Northover and I like motorbikes. But what I like even more is going to amazing places and having great fun riding motorbikes with a bunch of friends, which is exactly what the KTM Adventure Rally is. Last year, KTM invited us out to go and ride one of their adventure rider rallies held in Idaho in the USA. I'd never been there and I'd never been to an adventure rider rally before, so I was chomping at the bit to go and do some incredible riding with some world-class top name riders and meet the kind of KTM family. So three days, a bunch of Larry Orange motorcycles and some of the best trails I've ever ridden. What could possibly go wrong? ATM Adventure Rider Rally US edition based out of Tamarack Resort in Idaho. If like me you had no idea where in America that is, it's near the top. We're getting on for Alaska up here, which is why it looks so beautiful, even in this mist. Now what KTM do with their Adventure Rider Rallies is you pay for a ticket, you stay in the resort and you get the three days of riding, you get seminars, you get talks, speech, food, parties, everything thrown in. It's basically just a big party, camping, riding holiday weekend for a bunch of people who happen to own KTMs. I did see about five other brands of motorcycle there, but nearly everyone was on everything from KTM 390s through to the latest 1290 Rally, and then a lot of the old 950s, 990s, 1090s, well used, well beaten up and covered in accessories, showing they'd had a hell of a life. Now KTM flew in journalists from all over the world to come and experience the event, and I think I'm probably safe to say that when they presented us with our bikes, which were all KTM 390s prepped for off-road, there was a small amount of disappointment in the ranks. Not wishing to be spoilt brats, we were in Idaho riding these incredible trails, but the fact that all the other VIP guests were on 790s and 890s, there was a small amount of grumbling about the 390s. But genuinely, by the end of three days, there's not a single person who didn't value the 390 and think that it was probably one of the best fun trips because we were all on small bikes and the same bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of trying to cope with an 890 and trying to get the most out of it and ride the big bikes off road, what we all found ourselves doing was racing 390s flat out against each other and the trip didn't become dominated by riding ability, it became dominated by where could we get these cheap effective little bikes to go and how much fun we could have, which is always the key when you're out on a bike. Now KTM is an unashamedly race focused brand, but the Adventure Rally there was no racing, the focus was just on riding. Every day there were three routes available from a kind of nice gravel roads tour, a gravel roads tour with a mix of tougher trails, and then the hard route, which was gnarly tracks, single track, sand, rocky descents, a real challenge for everyone who was there. One of the really nice touches is that KTM flew in Kevin Benavides, Quinn Cody, and of course, Chris Birch. And those guys spent the week riding with all the different customers. They didn't just go and ride with the good guys. They rode with everyone. They hung out with different groups of riders. So you got to spend a bit of time with these motorcycling legends. And Chris in particular, Chris Birch, was really good at giving people coaching tips and a little bit of help out on the trails, which made it feel really special, made it feel really privileged to be there. My favorite thing about the event in Idaho was probably just how friendly it was. You could turn up not knowing anyone and you would never drink a beer on your own. There were people from all walks of life. I met a family who met at church group and through church group on Sundays realized that the two dads rode bikes, got riding together, became best friends and had now ridden halfway across the states with their sons all to spend four days riding dirt bikes in Idaho. Loads of little stories like that kind of gives you a nice warm fuzzy feeling and reminds you that you know motorcycles are awesome. It doesn't matter what walk of life you're from. 
doesn't matter whether you're rich, poor, very Christian, very atheist, black, white, green, brown, purple, it does not matter because when you ride a motorcycle, you put a helmet on and we're all in the same game. We're all doing it for the same reasons. And it sounds a bit hippy dippy, but I love that about bikes. At the end of the trip, I was genuinely gutted to go home and I was really surprised at how much fun we'd had on the 390. It's clearly the very base end of KTM's adventure bikes. It's not got spoked wheels. It's not got super long travel suspension. There are some things with the riding position that I found a little awkward, but ultimately it went absolutely everywhere we wanted it to go. We charged through boulder fields. We jumped ditches. We went through water splashes. We rode sand sections and it just did it. It just chomped it all up. And bearing in mind, these bikes had zero miles on when we picked them up. And from the minute we left the gates, they were nearly on the rev limit the whole time. Not one of them missed a beat. And that, that's exactly what you need from an adventure bike. Tough, reliable and puts a smile on your face. It's easy to mock the little 390 as being the kind of budget adventure bike in the KTM family. You can argue that it's a glorified road bike. You could say all that stuff. I learned illegal bike, a kid's bike. Yep, all valid points, but it is also an absolute riot to ride and phenomenally capable especially when you consider what the price of this thing is and more so when you start riding it how it wants to be ridden sit on top of it lean it over use the grip it's got good grip <laughs> it does wheelies always an important checkpoint for any bike <laughs> it does jumps. <laughs> Even really sketchy ones into corners. <laughs> Pretty much in the bag now, last few miles in. Been a fair amount of dust. Again, that's the curse of we're riding in quite a big group together, but the beauty of being able to navigate yourself on this event, you don't have to do that. You can just ride it on your own in a small group. Awesome days riding, time for a beer. If you're a KTM rider and you own a KTM already, honestly, if you haven't been to one of the adventure rallies, do it, treat yourself. They're in Europe, they're in Asia, and they're in America. So there's always one somewhere that you can get to. And I promise you, it will be three of the best days riding you've ever had. Are you seeing this little GoPro? Look, mountains and gravel roads and trees and all of the good things in life are here. It's mega.